I've just been given the signal to present our fourth star. Here is act number four. Yes, you say seven to ten days delivery. Yes. Yes, that's right. Should be with you next Wednesday. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Terry Wilson from Stoke-on-Trent, a telephone sales clerk and typist in the family firm. Maybe it's all the millions of mirrors Kerry has to sell that inspired her urge to reflect the images of the famous. Kerry's always loved to entertain by acting like a human looking glass and mimicking her family and friends. But she never thought of having a go at reproducing the stars until last year when she was 17. Already, she can display an impressive stock of celebrity simulations in her own personal Hall of Mirrors. But who's this reflected in Kerry's mirror? Could it be some phantom from an opera? Opportunity knocks now for Kerry Wilson. Surprise, surprise, it's Celery. Thanks ever so, Chucks. And we've got a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of surprises for you tonight. Here's another one. Miss Joan Rivers. Oh! Oh, please! Oh, please, can we talk? Oh! Oh, life in general's been getting me down. It's the only thing that does lately. <laughs> Spit on marriage. Ah! Oh, <laughs> 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 I'll never be a yellow coat. Listen, do you know something? I only got on this show, you know, because I do impressions. Yes, I do. I do a lovely one of him out of Rising Damp. You know the one I mean. He goes like this. He goes, um... My goodness, Jones. Oh, Mr. Rigsby. Oh, Mr. Rigsby, everybody always seems to do you, Mr. Rigsby. But nobody ever seems to want to do me. Well, I'm free. <laughs> well, I'm not free, but I'm very reasonable. What do you say, Mrs. Slocum? Do. <laughs> do you mind? You're upsetting my pussy. Boo. <laughs> well, for a change of mood now, I, I'm going to sing a song. It's, it's a very moving, touching, heart-rendering number that Catherine Hepburn sang to her husband, Norm, in On Golden Pond. Happy birthday <laughs> to Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, you old poop. <laughs> oh. Oh, I say. <laughs> I've been see Dr. Leg. I mean, what with my neck coming back and Mary upstairs? <laughs> oh, and all these attackings going on, it's not the stopping right out of me, Lou. Well, I can't sleep. It's since I got done for shoplifting. Well, here's your bandage, that then, Dot. A weed. Those shops are bloody heavy. <laughs> oh, I say, I should have known you wouldn't understand. Oh, look, here comes Pauline. Hello, Pauline, love. Oh. Oh, Mum, Dot. Oh. I've just got back from that laundress and I've just seen Arthur. Oh. Still no change. I said, Arthur, love, I'd better be going. Is that clock right? He said, don't be bloody stupid, Pauline. It wouldn't be in here if it was right. <laughs> oh, Michelle, love, shut that baby up. Look. Oh, I'm not going to go off to Vicky also. Oh, what? Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, I can have 
happy look off to Vicky as well, I shall. Yeah. <laughs> look, here comes Ethel. Oh, oh, dear me. Oh, dear me. Oh, look, there's my friend Angie. Oh, Angie, you've got to help me. Hello, darling. Call blimey, Ethel. What can I do for you, eh, babes? Oh, dear me, Angie, I've got this terrible problem. Oh, well, actually, it's not me, it's my little Willie. Oh, <laughs> Oh, blimey, Ethel. It's your little Willie, eh, darling? What seems to be the matter with him, eh? Oh, oh, oh. oh dear me, you see, he's only got one eye. He's only got one eye, eh, babes? Here, Ethel, darling. Let's have a look at him. Here. Ethel, you've been holding him upside down, darling. <laughs> Kerry Wilson from Stoke-on-Trent. She's only 18 years of age. Remember, it's your votes that you phone in after the show's off of the air tonight that really will decide the winner, but we're getting a snap vote from our audience tonight, and that's telling us a lot about what they think and how the impact of our various performers was effective in this studio. Studio 8 at Television Center, where Kerry Wilson made her bow. 18-year-old impressionist, let's remind you of Kerry Wilson. Oh, for heaven's sake, Mavis, love, give over with it. Do you know, I told Elf the other day, I said, Elf, if Gail had wanted to know whose baby it was all those months ago, she should have gone and had one of those scans. If the baby had got a normal size brain, it was Ian's. If it had one the size of a pea, it was Brian's. <laughs> what do you say, Mavis? Well, <laughs> well I, don't, I don't really know. Derek's face four times. <laughs> what do you mean, Mavis? Do you mean he tried it on? No. I thought he was dead. Did you see what she's somewhere watching and doing this? Kerry Wilson just saw herself get an 86 on the scoreboard. How terrific. She's uh, level pegging uh, with Zetia Masaya. Oh, that, what a thrill. She'll be on the phone in a minute to Stoke on Trent saying, hey, guess, because oh, what I've got. Very thrilled. I'm sure she will be.